Hello, you are welcome. In this video, we are going to evaluate without the calculator 64 power 4 minus 16 power 5. Now look at it here. 64 is a perfect square, which also equals 8 power 2. So we can have it as 8 is simply 2 power 3, and this is raised to the power of 2. Now, if you have a power n power m, this equals a power n times m. So this will give us 2 power 3 times 2. And this will equal 2 power 6. So 64 is the same thing as 2 power 6. So we now have 2 power 6. And this is raised to the power of 4 minus. Now let's consider 16. 16 is a perfect square, which is also 4 power 2, and 4 is a perfect square, which is 2 power 2, and this is raised to the power of 2. Now, going by this identity, we are going to multiply this exponent. We have 2 power 2 times 2, and that will give us 4. So, we now have 2 power 4. So, 16 is the same thing as 2 power 4. So we now come over here and have 2 power 4 or power 5. Now the next thing we are going to do is to apply this identity again. This time around, we have this 6 times 4 and we also have 4 times 5. So we have 2 power 6 times 4 minus 2 power 4 times 5. So 6 times 4 is 24. We have 2 power 24 minus 2 power 4 times 5 is 20. Now, the next thing we are going to do is we need to express this 24 as the summation of 20 and 4. So we have 2 power 20 plus 4 minus 2 power 20. Now, let's consider this other identity. If you have a power n plus m, this equals a power n times a power m. So we will apply this identity right here. So we will now have 2 power 20 times 2 power 4 minus 2 power 20. Now, take it this way. If you have a times b minus a, you can easily factor out a. By dividing a b, which is a times b, by a, you are going to have b minus a divided by a, you are going to have 1. So, a b minus a is the same thing as a times b minus 1. This is exactly the same thing we are going to do here. This is like our a, and this is like our b, and this is a again. We factor out 2 power 20 times, if you divide the whole of these by 2 power 20, you have 2 power 4 minus, we are going to have 1. Now, what is the value of 2 power 4? 2 power 4 simply means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And this equals 2 times 2, 4, 4 times 2, 8, 8 times 2, 16. So we have 2 power 20 times 16 minus 1. So we now have 2 power 20 times 16 minus 1 is 15. Now this is what we are going to do. This is exactly what we are going to do. What is the value of 2 power 20? 2 power 20 is simply 2 power 10 raised to the power of 2. And what is the value of 2 power 10? 2 power 10 is simply 2 times 2 times 2 into 10 places. Or you can have it as 2 power 5 raised to the power of 2. Because if you multiply 5 by 2, you are going to have 10. Now, what is the value of 2 power 5? That is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And this will give you 
2 times 2 4, 4 times 2 8, 8 times 2 16, 16 times 2 that is 32. So 2 power 10 equals 32 raised to the power of 2. And what is the value of 32 raised to the power of 2? We have 32 times 32, right? So let's multiply this out. 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 3, we have 9. So we have 4, 6 plus 6, 12, 2, got over 1 and add here, that is 10. So you have 1, 0, 2, 4. Now that is 2 power 10. So we come over here. Now remember, 2 power 20 is 2 power 10 raised to the power of 2. So you have 2 power 10 raised to the power of 2 times 15. And 2 power 10 has been proven to be 1, 0, 2, 4. We have 1, 0, 2, 4 raised to the power of 2 times 15. Now, what is the value of 104 raised to the power of 2? So we have 1024 raised to the power of 2. Now, this simply means we can simply rewrite this 1024 as the summation of 1000 plus 24 squared. And this simply means we can have it as 1000 plus 24 times 1000 plus 24. Have you seen that? So what are you going to do? So let's expand it. 1000 times 1000, that is 1 million, plus 1000 times 24, that is 24. This is this, that is 24,000, plus 24 times 1000, that is 24,000 again plus 24 times 24, that is 5, 7, 6. So the next thing we are going to do is to add up everything. So you have 1 million plus 24,000 plus 24,000, that is 48,000 plus 5, 7, 6. So let's add up everything here. Now we are going to have 1 million 48,000 plus 5, 7, 6, that is adding these two. So if we add that, we are going to have 1,048,576. Now the next thing is for us to multiply this number by what? 15. That's exactly what we are going to do next. So this is what we are going to do in order to find the final solution. So this is how we are going to multiply it. 1048576 times 15. So let's use this traditional me method of multiplying. 5 times 6 is 30, 0 and carry over 3. 5 times 7 is 35, 35 plus 3 is 38, 8 and still carry over 3. 5 times 5 is 25, 25 plus 3 is 28, 8 and now carry over 2. 5 times 8 is 40, 40 plus 2 is 42. 2 and carry over 4. Now, 5 times 4 is 20. 20 plus 4 is 24. 4 and carry over 2. 5 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 2 is 2. 2. 5 times 1, 5. Now, the next thing is for us to use 1 and multiply everything. 1 times 6, 6. 1 times 7, 7. 1 times 5, 5, 1 times 8, 8, 1 times 4, 4, 1 times 0, 0, 1 times 1, 1. Now the next thing we are going to do is to add up everything. 0, 8 plus 6, that is 14, 4, carry over 1 and add here, 9, 9 plus 7, 16, 6, carry over 1 and add here, 3, 3 plus 5, 8, 4 plus 8, 12, 2 and carry over 1 and add here. 3. 3 plus 4. 7. 5 plus 0. We have 5. And we bring down the 1. So what we are having is simply we have 15,728,640. This becomes the final answer for 
64 power 4 minus 16 power 5 and this equals 50 million 728,640. So that is it guys. I believe you enjoyed the class. Please kindly subscribe and share this video to your friends. Thank you and goodbye.